What's up Bulldogs and welcome to this week's news episode. I'm Claire Davis. This week we covered the wrestling team, the dive team, and the trunk or treat. Practices for the CNHS wrestling team have started up recently. We sat down with team members who shared their future goals with us. BNN reporters Chloe Lavelle and Michelle Caldwell tell us more. We sat down with the head coach and athletes of the wrestling team to talk about their goals for the upcoming season. Their first event is their blue and white night, which is on the 17th. My name is Matt Joyce. I'm the varsity head wrestling coach at Columbus North. This will be my fourth season here at Columbus North, uh, sixth season overall. My name is Jared Slocum. Uh, I'm a senior here at North. Uh, this will be my fifth year wrestling. My name is Joseph Thorne. I'm a freshman. I've been wrestling for 12 years. We've, we've got some pretty big goals this year of being uh, you know, top two in our sectional and uh, top two in our uh, conference as well. Um, and we've, we've got a full lineup coming back from last year. I think we've got some good goals to just be getting the most people we can on the mats and making sure everyone is working as hard as they can, wherever they can. Our goal for our athletes this year is uh, the same as it is every year. We want them to go wrestle with full effort um, and extend that into the classroom and into other aspects of their lives um, and then come out of wrestling being better people. Me personally, uh, we had a lot more people come up that are able to help push me and I would just like to work as hard as I can work in my last year here. really want to be East. Um, that's my main goal, um, just be East, be as many teams as we can be. We've had some good off-season opportunities that I've been trying to make sure I participate in. And obviously, we try to get the team to go to as many as we can, because the best way to improve is just more mat time. I've been pushing myself, lifting a lot. I've been pushing myself as, as hard as I can. We've, we've prepared this year. Um, we had, you know, great off-season time. Uh, good lifts and um, you know all through the summer and uh, quite a few of our kids wrestled uh, in club off-season tournaments and um, you know I think our kids this year are more prepared than, than they have been in, in a long time. This is Chloe and Michelle reporting for BNN. The CNHS dive team had its first meeting this week. Reporters Luke Chandler and Brian Alvarez talked to the members about their goals of the upcoming season. BNN sat down with Cole Wheeler and Coach Decker to talk about the diving team. Hi, my name is Cole Wheeler. I'm a senior at Columbus North and I dive for the CNHS Bullfrogs. I am Nicole Decker. I'm the diving coach at Columbus North High School and I also teach ninth grade English. I started diving my freshman year because my brother dove and I wanted to really see what it was like and I ended up really liking the sport. This is my fourth year here in Columbus, but I coached for six years in Bloomington. Uh, we practice uh, all week. Uh, Monday practice, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So for morning practice, we, st we, we start at 5.45 and end at 7. And after school, we start at 3.30 and end at 5.30. And then on Saturdays, we go from 8 to 10. Yeah, so Cole Wheeler is a senior and he has made it to regionals in the past and I'm really hopeful that he will make it to state this year and I think he has a really great shot. And then we have some really promising girls also. Helen Alderfer is a junior and I think she'll do really well too. Two weeks ago was girl season. Uh, we have 14 divers right now. That's a very large team. So it's based on how big, how small the splash is, how nice it looks in the air, and your distance. Yeah, so I'm from Ohio. I dove club and high school there, and then I also dove at IU. We have meets twice every week, and sometimes on Saturdays, and we might have invitationals here and there. This is Luke Chandler reporting for BNN. For Emma Bennett's senior project, she hosted a trunk or treat that benefited kids with autism. 
If you'd like to see your senior project featured in a news or magazine show, contact us through Mrs. McCarver. BNN reporters Chloe Lavelle and Michelle Caldwell tell us more. My name is Emma Bennett and I am a senior at Columbus North. Hi, I'm Heather Baker. I am one of the co-founders of the Columbus Autism Network. Emma's uh, senior project was to do a trunk or treat for the kids that were are part of the Columbus Autism Network. I got the idea from last year. I helped with the walk for autism and we did like this kind of trunk or treat thing. So I decided to do it for mine. Emma. Um, reached out to one of the autism coordinators, um, Amber Wolf, that works for BCSC, um, and was talking about doing something, uh, the trunk or treat for the autism group, autism community in Columbus. And Amber um, messaged me and asked if I would mentor her as a senior project. And um, so we, we started from there. I spent a lot of time making things and reaching out to people to help and also I've spent a lot of time with meetings with Mrs. Baker. When I first met Emma, she was a, um, a real go-getter. Uh, she volunteered for the Columbus Autism Network um, annual fundraiser that we do, which is a 5K um, and a family fun walk. And of course, it was right after, um, or right before COVID, or right after COVID, I should say. And um, so she came and uh, volunteered for that. And then we recently reconnected this fall to um, get started on this project. I learned that it takes a long time to plan out a project, especially this one. And getting out to community is also very hard. We have been working on this project since probably mid-November. So um, we had a short turnaround time to get it um, together, but luckily Emma had um, already ideas in her head and um, we just fleshed out some of the details, um, like how do we promote this to our, our families, um, reserving the parking lot, you know, different things like that, logistical things, but most of it Emma had in her head and she already, you know, was thinking through some of the ideas. So um, even though we had a short turnaround time just about um, four weeks she was able to do it very successfully. The most difficult part is definitely reliability on teenagers because not everyone is reliable and I have to make sure that they show up with what they're supposed to have. My goals is for everyone to have a very fun time but also have the kids with autism a safe place and environment for them to trick or treat. This is Chloe and Michelle reporting for BNN. And that concludes this week's news episode. I'm Claire Davis. See you next week, Bulldogs.